Hello everyone. Now we will start with a new topic and our new topic is what is SAP memory and what is a PAP memory. Firstly, before we jump into what is SAP memory and what is a PAP memory, the first question comes into everyone's mind. Why, why we have a concept of memory ID? Forget about SAP memory and a BAP memory. Why SAP has a concept of memory ID? Simple understanding. To pass the data from one session to another session, we need memory ID. Suppose we have a session. In that session, suppose from one program, we are calling another program, we are calling another program. So within the same session, if you want to pass the values from one program to another program, we require memory ID. So the first question is, why, why we need memory ID to pass the values from one session to another session? Or within the same session, if you want to pass the values from one program to another program, we require memory ID. Suppose simple example. If suppose I will create a material. Suppose I am going to MM01 transaction code and I am creating a material. Suppose I am creating a material. I am taking industry sector, material type, suppose. Now I will just create a material. I will pass that description. I will go for unit of measurement. I will go for save. I will go for OK. Now you can see I created the material. In this particular session, I created the material. What is the material? 201016. Suppose I will go to MM02 or 03 transaction code. Have you seen whatever the material I created, it came into MM02. I opened MM02 in a, another session. So how this particular material which I created in one session, how it came to the another session? It is not a magic or something. It came with the help of memory ID only. So with the help of memory ID, we passed the value from one session to another session. So this is the simple, simple understanding of the memory ID. Suppose I will go for simple example. Suppose I have a program. I am running this particular program. In this program, I am calling another program. Suppose I want to pass the value from this program to this program. So in that case also, I will use the concept of memory ID. So within the same session, suppose I will run this particular program. Suppose I am running this particular program. In this program itself, you are calling another program. And from this program, we are passing the values to this program. By what? By with the help of memory ID. Forget about SAP memory and a BAP memory. But why, why we need memory ID? Because in sometimes real projects, we need to pass the values between the sessions. We need to pass the values within one session from one program to another program. So at that time, we use the concept of memory ID. Just now I show you the example. You created the material in one session of MM01. But how that material came into another session? Because the value flowed with the help of memory ID. Now in SAP, we have two types of memory ID. First one is your SAP memory. And second one is your ABAP memory. We have two types of memory. SAP memory and ABAP memory. Firstly, we will understand and then we will start with the practical part for the same. Now, the first is 
टाइप ऑफ मेमरी एसिपी मेमरी इज कॉल्ड एज ग्लोबल मेमरी सो दिस मेमरी इज ए ग्लोबल मेमरी एंड अबैप मेमरी इज ए लोकल मेमरी द वर्ल्ड इट सेल्फ इज से ग्लोबल मेमरी इट मीन इट स्कोप इज थ्रू आउट ऑल द सेशन एंड अबैप मेमरी लोकल मेमरी इट मीन इट स्कोप इज विद इन वन सेशन इट सेल्फ दिस नाउ this few minutes back i showed you yes i created this material into this particular session and in another session i am able to see this material it means this is which type of memory we achieved this concept anyways sap did this sap achieved this concept by which memory sap memory because sap memory is global memory throughout the sessions in one session we created the material but it automatically reflected into another session so this is with the help of sap memory so sap memory is called as global memory global memory means its scope is not limited to one session it belongs to all the session whereas a back memory is local memory its scope is only to one session of sap suppose simple example i showed you suppose i am running this particular program in this same program in this program itself i am passing the value from i am passing the value from this program to this particular program because in this program in this particular program i am calling this another program so whenever i will run this program in one session itself we are passing the value from one program to another program so the scope of a back memory is limited to one session only now we will move on to next point we already covered yes the scope of sap memory is not limited to one session it belongs to all the session whereas a back memory is specific to one session of sap now we will come on to the statement whenever we will go for sap memory anyways whenever we want to write the logic we need to write the logic for sap memory and a back memory whenever we will go for sap memory logic we will use the set parameter and get parameter statement and many times in the interview people use the abbreviation spa and gpa spa means set parameter and gpa means get parameter so for sap memory we will use the statements set parameter id and get parameter id suppose if i will show you the simple syntax this is the syntax set parameter id name of the parameter id field and whatever the value anyways we will do the practical as of now i am just showing you if someone ask you yes how you are going for sap memory then simple answer is we are going for set parameter id and get parameter id with the help of set we will set the value and with the help of get we will get the value but when it's come on to a back memory we will use the export and import statement if i will show you simple example this is your this is your this is your a back memory suppose we are exporting have you seen in this program i have written the logic for export it means i am exporting the value if i will go for this particular program which is calling into this particular program itself here i have import statement export means you are passing the value import means you are getting the value same we have set means we are setting the value get means we are getting the value just understand we are passing the values it means we need to set and we need to get suppose simple example when i created the material we set and in this particular transaction code we get yes so we have set and get for sap memory 
export and import for a back memory. Now we will move on to next important point. With the help of SAP memory, we can only only pass the variables. Variable means we can only only pass the single values. With the help of SAP memory, you can only only pass the single value. It means this particular value which I passed, it's a single value. So with the help of SAP memory, you can only only pass the variables. Variables means we can only only go for single value. But with the help of a back memory, you can pass variable also. You can pass internal table, work area, anything. Suppose if I will show you the example. With the help of a back memory, have you seen? I passed the internal table also. This is the internal table. And I pass the parameter. Parameter means I pass the single value also. So a back memory, you can pass internal table, work area, variable, anything you can pass. Now we will move on to next point. In which, in which particular requirement we need to use SAP memory? In which particular requirement we need to use a back memory? Just if that meaning is clear to you, you will understand the use very easily. SAP memory is global to all the sessions. It means whenever you want to pass the values from one session to another session, you can, you can use SAP memory. Suppose simple example. In this particular session, I created the material. Now in another session, we are displaying the material. So whenever you want to pass, whenever you want to fill the input fields on screen, this is the input field which is filled on the screen. We will go for SAP memory. Just now I showed you the example. I created the material into this session and in another session, this input field automatically filled. So this is the most powerful use of the SAP memory. Anyways, we will do the practical and I already showed the practical of SAP memory in ALV topic. Anyways, we will do the practical for the same again. Now, the use of main use of SAP memory is to fill input fields on the screen because you can pass the values from one session to another session. Now, what is the most important use of a back memory? The term, if the meaning is clear, you can easily understand. Its scope is limited to one session. It means if in one session, you are calling one program from another program. Then if you want to pass the values between the programs, you can use the ABAP memory. So most frequent use of ABAP memory is to pass the values between the ABAP program within the same internal session. Just now I showed you from this program, from this program, we are calling this program. So we are passing the uh, values through a back memory concept. From this program, we are exporting. And in this program, we are importing. So what is the summary of this particular video? Extremely important concept, yes, from the interview perspective, yes. So what is memory? I, what is memory? The first important thing is why, why we have a concept of memory, SAP memory and a back memory in SAP. Simple understanding. Memory. Memory means why we require so that we can pass the values from one session to another session. We can pass the values within the same session also. That's why we require the memory. So we, what, why memory? We will set, we will get. We will export, we will import. Because if you are passing the values from one session to another session, it means in one session you need to set. In another session, we need to get. If you are going for passing the values, it means one place you need to set, one place you need to get. In SAP, we have two types of memory. SAP memory, a back memory. The scope of this SAP memory is also called as global memory. 
A back memory is also called as local memory. Global memory means its scope is to all the sessions. A back memory is local memory. It means its scope is only to one session. Here we will use set parameter and get parameter statement. They are also called as SPA and GPA. Set parameter, get parameter. Here we use import and export statements. With the help of SAP memory, you can pass the single values. Means you can use the variables. Here you can use variable, internal table, work areas. It's totally your wish, but we want to pass. The most important use of SAP memory is to fill the input field, screen input field. And I showed you the practical. I showed you the simple example of creating a material. And at that time, SAP used the SAP memory concept is now the most important use of a back memory because its scope is in within one session. It means we can simply pass the values from one program to another program within the same internal session itself. In the next video, we will take the requirement. We'll start with the practical part. We'll go for SAP memory. We'll go for a back memory. So that's it in this video. Thank you.